Welcome back to RimWorld. JC here on what is very potentially the last episode of this season. Mm. It's alright, it's ever since we started this one I've already had plans for the next one. It all depends on whether you're going to be able to be seeing the new season next week or whether I I pick something else for this slot for a little while so you get a break from RimWorld. It all depends on whether I turn around and go, actually, I know what I can put in this slot, or I sit there for a while and go, um, screw it, Rimworld, and you get another one. But things will be different. At least combat-wise, things will be different. These will not be here. We will not have Rim Atomics. We will not have Rimmerfella either. Because that also makes things a hell of a lot easier. Because if I didn't have the reactor, I'd just be using the chem fuel power plants. None of those either. We won't be having crops like these. <laughs> or the antimatter annihilation. We will be having... Uh, Rim Factory Reloaded. The automation side of things will be staying, but I won't be using a plasma drill. I'll be using a the tier two one, one which can cause infestation. So you actually have to plan around infestations. Yeah. You know, making things harder. Also, a laser accurate mortar is not going to be a thing, so HE firing mortars, nope. Incendiary firing mortars, due to the inaccuracy, yes, for anti siege. Anti siege warfare, they try to siege you, you just fire one incendiary shell at them, and then miraculously they go, nope, F this, we're going to charge the front gate. And there's all your colonists sitting there, waiting for them. Colonists, plural. There won't be any androids. I'm not sure how many people JC will be landing with. It could be a little bit too hard to try and defend myself and have to try and recruit new people. So uh, he may put out an advert before he leaves to have to form a new little. side project. Have some actual employees with him. As JC goes full mad scientist. <clears throat> yeah, no, that's going to be a thing. Mad scientist, by the way. JC has noticed this, this little section in here, in his research tree, that he hasn't, hasn't bothered with, with Genetic engineering and... But he didn't have the time this time round to do that. Meddle around with genetics. He was fiddling around with... You know... People. Um, he was fiddling around with getting... This stuff done. The androids next time oh no next time JC's going full mad scientist going to have Munkenstein's lab ah yes but yes we will have to come up with some other power alternatives may need to rely on solar and wind a little bit, plus a battery backup. Geothermals if I'm lucky. I say lucky, I'm going to basically tailor make the map, so. <laughs> um, 
Yes, there is one specific thing that one of the mods will add. Do I have it on at the moment? Not sure. I don't think I do. I think I have their mod on at this moment. No, yes I do. Here it is. Helix and gas. Yeah, that's going to be a nice early one. So, yeah. That's a little sneak preview for next time. Just to get anybody who actually watches this to go, actually, no, that sounds interesting. Maybe that is worth a watch. Looks like both the weapons are done. Um, where have they stashed them, mind you? Oh, they would have stashed them in here, wouldn't they? Antimatter rifle, good. Antimatter SMG, good. Right, drop both on the floor. Hood, take your masterwork assault rifle and swap it for this antimatter. And you, taking easy. Yeah, no, you can. After that, equip the antimatter SMG. So just to demonstrate, um, we'll go uh, uh, damage, actual damage numbers. His assault, it's only two better than his current assault rifle, but it is type annihilation. <laughs> Which means yeah, armor penetration. Over double the armor penetration on the rifle. Yeah. This is kind of weird. This won't mean much in the next game because armor penetration is dealt with by your caliber of the weaponry you're firing and the ammunition you're firing. Yeah, ammo is going to be a thing as well. Are you sure they should be loaded in there, friend? <laughs> yeah, they're supposed to be there. There you go. A heavy SMG, which we had from the very beginning of the game, on what is the final episode. Finally, we replaced the heavy SMG. Never <laughs> uh, um. mind. Tropes in sand everywhere. Whatever. Weirdness. Uh, do we have? Yes, we do actually have one of the other antimatter things, which is a composite refiner. Oh, caravan animals have wandered in. Might hunt them. We'll see what's got them. They've got. How big is this thing? No, it's not very. Can't fit it in there because this thing actually occupies all of that space along there. Yep. I'm not sure whether somebody actually has to work it. Somebody may have to work this console, so let's plonk it. Just there, because there's a chair there that doesn't do anything anymore. I've obviously moved that, so let's reinstall that. Just there. Yeah, it does mean you've got to sort of climb over those. Eh, technicalities. We'll get that built, and that allows us to make uh, anti matter composite we already have a little bit of but yes that would allow me to build an even stronger front wall because I've only just installed the normal composite and then I'm going to go actually <laughs> here's some antimatter composite ah so really now oh yeah those caravan animals wandered in where are they 
Where are they going? And what are they carrying? What are you carrying? Rubbish. What are you carrying? Rubbish. You live. You live this time. Oh, that is just pointing. It's just like, yep. This is where we were last shooting. <laughs> Of course, I can opt to not use these things, which are ridiculously powerful, which we noted. I could choose not to, but then why would you not use your full arsenal to obliterate anybody who comes to try and murder you? Yeah. That. It has hit points, you know. I could just stash it somewhere and then shoot it. That would be kind of like abusing the mechanics of the game, mind you. The fact that you can actually destroy things. Ah, <sighs> uh, We're just sort of... Waiting. Oh, it's done. Okay. Antimatter canister and plasteel. More plasteel, mind you. I don't think it is. I think it's automated. Looks like it's an automated thing. Okay, no, that's cool. Um, that means, if it is automated, I can shift it over to here. Antimatter canisters coming up here. I could stop them from connecting up to the rest of this and just have them output next to this thing. I'll wait until it's finished its current output. Might as well deconstruct that chair. Why don't you cancel that? Reinstall it, just there. Might as well. And boom, output, and it's used up all the plastic. Yeah, let's just not have that doing anything. It did produce 30 though, so it could... Ooh, that's... Wow, it takes 60 plasteel and then only produces 30 antimatter composite. Yeah. Yeah, sure mate. Let's, um, I think we're going to leave it put there so they have to manually fuel it. No, just, no, I'm going to walk away from that one. <laughs> all very expensive. For what you are, you're very expensive. And not an awful lot. It is better than this composite, but not by a huge margin. Okay, I say that and it's like the, the difference between stone and this is tiny. The difference between this and the antimatter composite, the antimatter composite is 1,300 odd. So. Mm, yeah, market improvement, but given the amount of um, materials, because plasteel is something, is like, yeah, I don't know, plasteel's not a problem. 
Only because I'm digging out the friggin' ground. Next time through, um, I can actually still make unlimited amounts of plasteel. You just produce it extremely slowly. No, that's the wrong plasteel. It is in here somewhere. It's part of the uh, the rim factory. I know it's in here. It's just there you go, metal refining. So you have to use chemvial, which is going to be a problem in and of itself. Yep. And steel, which is abundant once you get an automated miner. You get so much steel, it's just, just swimming in the damn stuff. But you have to use a special machine to do it, and it is amazingly slow. As you'd expect for making what is basically an end game material. It only doesn't seem like that at this point in time because I've got other mods that add more materials. They will be going away. Also, armor will be far more important in the next in the next um, series. Especially head armor. There are a number of times in that in the new combat system where they can have a legendary grade spacer helmet on and they still get one shot through the head. No. Who has a pet bug? A spellipede. Murder it. Murder it. I can't. I can't. You. No, it's right. It's being murdered. There we go. Ugh. What kind of weirdo has a pet like that? Those things are fat. No, no, why is that being stored there? No. No, 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 no. Why? 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 No. 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 They don't get stored there. No, they get stored in the corpses. That's where they're supposed to go. Move. It's not supposed to be here at all. Stop putting insect corpses there. They're supposed to be here. Get that filthy creature out of there. Thank you. No insects in my food storage area. Thank you. Hmm. I say. No, we just burn it up in the electric furnace and that's it. Gone. No, 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 no. Bugs. No. DC's not a bug person. Doesn't like bugs. Bugs are nasty. Evil nasty bugs. Wow, wouldn't you love to be able to automate that process? That would be a process you would want to automate. Oh well. Did Hood finally actually get his medical? No, his medical skill still wasn't. Still couldn't produce glitter weld meds, but you know, you can extrapolate that sooner enough he would be good enough to make glitter weld meds. I mean, I've got all of these hostile factions, and it's just like... 
they don't really attack you very often. It's kind of a bit meh. A bit meh. I mean, I've got extra factions in this. Although that's a that's the only one. There isn't actually a hostile version of that. So, hmm. More factions might be an interesting thing to have. Different kind of factions. Other than the, the usual tribal outlander, uh, El outlander, whatever, and you know, space pirates. We'll have factions like bugs. Bugs. Never mind, they'll die the same as everybody else. Large caliber weaponry normally does that. Well, I guess at this point we don't really have anything else to do. All he's going to do is just research void armor, which we're not going to use because they don't want to put it on. Because we've already got void equipment. And then some meaty weapons which we don't really use because they don't get close enough. So I am kind of thinking... At this point, to go... Uh, sort of zoom out as far as I can. Stick that there. And we will end a little bit earlier. <laughs> there is nothing else I can actually do here. It, it's just it's disappointing. All I'm doing now is just creating more and more overly overpowered piles of stuff. Hey, quite well. I mean, we only officially died three times. <clears throat> yes, we're on the third... What is this? Parallel timeline. Yes, that's what happens. I failed. Oh, look, we're watching another timeline now where I didn't screw up. Don't mind me. <clears throat> Game. Poke. But, that all said and done, thank you for watching. I hope people enjoyed the series and we'll be back for the next, where we will have a completely different combat system, JC being an absolute mad scientist and splicing different animal types together. Things like that. Should be interesting. Hopefully more factions to interact with, slash be raided by. A bit more variety. But, there we go. So, this is JC. Out. <laughs>